Hi, I'm Marissa and I'm an andrologist at Bartolab. Today we will be discussing what is the semen analysis and what is the sperm functional assessment. Your semen analysis forms an integral part of the infertility investigation. It is the initial evaluation for the male part. The results from your semen evaluation provides the clinician with valuable information regarding the fertility potential of the male partner. The purpose of a basic semen analysis is to evaluate the classical descriptive parameters of an ejaculated sample. The macroscopic parameters that are being evaluated is the color, the liquefaction, the viscosity, the volume and the pH of the sample. The microscopic parameters that are being evaluated are the concentration, motility and vitality, the morphology, as well as the presence of debris and other cellular components that might be present in your ejaculate. A descriptive semen analysis, however, provides limited information regarding the functional competence of the sperm. Therefore, additional tests are needed for us to assess what is the sperm's ability to fertilize an oocyte? That includes a diagnostic assessment as well as the functional evaluation of rapid progressive and progressive motility using computer-aided sperm analysis or CASA as we refer to it. So the CASA system can also be used to calculate the percentage of sperm that has the ability to penetrate the cervical mucus during natural fertilization. We also test for sperm antibodies as the presence of these will interfere with oocyte and sperm interactions. The CASA system is also used to test for hyperactivation. It is now generally accepted that sperm hyperactivation is physiologically important for fertilization. And finally, when there is an indication, we can test for sperm DNA fragmentation. The results from your sperm functional assessment helps us to make an informed and comprehensive decision on the management of the patient as well as the couple. The results helps us to determine whether the sperm function are of such a nature that fertilization are likely to be achieved or whether we need to consider ICSI to prevent a low fertilization or no fertilization. With this said, the sperm functional assessment helps us choose the most appropriate form of assisted reproductive treatment if needed, whether that is timed intercourse, intrauterine insemination, IVF or ICSI.